Hey everybody, today we are answering your question, what is an easement in real estate? I'm Tiffany Weber, a real estate attorney in Mooresville, North Carolina at Thomas & Weber. And we like to put out educational videos just like this one. So if you like to be in the know about all things real estate, make sure you subscribe to our channel. All right, let's get down to the basics. We're just gonna define an easement here. An easement is the right to use somebody else's land. So that means there's a very important distinction. It's the right to use someone else's land. It is not ownership in land. That's where most people get really confused about it is, do I own this? Do I just have the right to cross someone's land? So we wanna get that out of the way right at the beginning. Now easements can be created a lot of different ways, but by far the most common way to create an easement is by written agreement of the parties. So a lot of people in neighborhoods, they might not even think about it, but they've granted an easement to the utility company so that utility companies can come on your land to uh, first install and then maintain the utilities that run to your property. Other common types of easements are for shared driveways or giving someone the right to cross your land to get to a certain landmark, say a pond that they like to fish at. There are also easements to have a person not do something with their land, which is quite frankly not that common, but we see that more at the lake because people want to preserve their views. So say you want to have a really nice clear view to the lake, you can have something called a negative easement so that your neighbor will agree not to build up to block your view or not to grow trees in the way of your view. Generally speaking in an easement, there is a dominant tract, and a servient tract. I know that's lawyer speak, but if you were to ever read an easement and see the words dominant and servient, you're gonna wonder what the heck that means. So the dominant tract is, think of, it's the person that's benefited or the land that's benefited by the use of the easement. And the servient tract is the land that is burdened by the easement. So they're the ones that are offering up the path for the benefited tract owners to be able to walk through. If you want to terminate a written easement, it's really important to know that it can only be terminated by the benefited party. That's another reason why it's important to know who's actually benefited under the easement. Because if you have granted an easement for someone to cross your property, you, in most instances, cannot just unilaterally take away that right that you've granted. If you need an easement or you are granting an easement, it is incredibly important that you call a real estate attorney because you have to make sure all of the legal formalities are observed so that the easement will be binding and run with the land if that's what you intend for it to do. And you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you call out the responsibilities of both parties as to maintenance. Now we are just scratching the surface on easements. I could talk for days, but I will not bore you here. Uh, so if you have any questions about easements, you can always reach out to us at Thomas & Weber if you're in North Carolina, but I hope that cleared up a few of your basic questions. Again, I'm Tiffany Weber, a real estate attorney in Mooresville, North Carolina at Thomas & Weber, and we'll see you in the next video.